All right. Good evening, everyone. This is uh, just a short update uh, regarding my uh, migration project from Spartan 3 to Spartan 6. And I must say, um, in the last couple of days, mostly during the weekend, I had a lot of headache uh, just adjusting the uh, timing between um, new chip and SAM S7. Because um, even though Spartan 6 is fairly similar to the previous architecture, it's much less tolerant when it comes to the timing comparing to Spartan 3. So that was one thing. The other thing was changes um, in the firmware that was a um, necessary part of this process. So long story short, after a couple of iterations, I was able to compile a firmware for ARM. I'm now talking about the C uh, firmware for, for this particular part. And what we can do right now is, um, I mean, it seems uh, simple and trivial, but uh, it took me at least two days to kind of wrap it up. We can access the uh, SD card uh, via ARM. That's That wasn't anything special, but then uh, we can uh, use a special clock uh, to sync with um, Spartan 7, uh, so, sorry, Spartan 6, um, and um, then uh, push all the bits uh, using SPI uh, to the FPGA chip uh, until uh, the file transfer is done and uh, Spartan 6 will um, change the status of the done pin, meaning that uh, it's ready and uh, the programming is done. So I guess I can show you first how it looks like from a couple of perspectives. Uh, I'm going to turn off the board. And this is something you've seen on Minimic. Now consider, because this is quite a large chip and different uh, architecture, the size of the firmware is much bigger. Uh, for Spartan 3 was around, I believe, 300 kilobytes. This is close, closer to 3 megabytes. I mean, depends on the compression level, level and this and that goes from, let's say, somewhere 3 all the way up to close to 4 megabytes. This particular Minimic core is um, slightly shy of 3 megabytes. Um, so that's that's why the, the whole process will last slightly longer. And if I turn on, you will see the standard programming. And usually this is like 3 seconds uh, on the um, older version using Spartan 3. Now you can see it's much longer. This can be um, faster. Um, and uh, and that's that that's done power is not going up because uh, minimic core is not uh, done yet the migration i need to change mostly clocking because the way it's done right now um, uh, ic cannot route the um, clock signals well there is a big uh, delays and um, timing is not right and all in all i think comparing to spartan 3 Spartan 6 is much uh, less uh, lenient when it comes to constraints and um, and the timing, as I said. So I'm actually doing that right now. I think that's going to be just fine. Um, I mean, need a few days and hopefully we'll... There's no reason not to have a minimum up and running here, minimum core, I mean, up and running within a couple of days, hopefully. Famous last words, but... Um, it seems, seems promising now. So let's see how this looks like from the perspective of the oscilloscope. So I'm going to power off. Then I'm going to use the probe. Here there is a um, um, data line for uh, Spartan. So I'm going to turn it on and quickly I'm going to probe here. So you can see the action. Now there is a a little bit of empty space like this you can see it's still programming but it's nothing happening until the end uh, that's because the file itself is um, kind of empty at the end and that's quite normal um, that was also reason for concern because i didn't know what's going on at some point i would see transfer going but i couldn't see any data coming through the line but that's simply because when i see compiles the binary you will see that almost the second half of the file, maybe last quarter of the file, let's say, it's totally empty, it's all zeros. Uh, and then at the end, there is a little bit of data, probably signifying just the end of the file, end of the transfer. 
And even if you do it again, if I try to do this again at the end, you will see a little bit of, uh, let me just do this again. Uh, you will see the that uh, end of the file. So now transfer is still going until now. You've probably seen it. Hopefully the camera can catch that. Uh, and uh, another thing I can show you is from the perspective of the, um, uh, I have a serial cable here and I'm looking at the bug console. And you can see this, um, let's, let's try to reset console so you have a clear uh, reset terminal. So you have a clear picture here. I'm going to turn it on and you can see the cores being moved all the way to the end and second is going to Spartan 6 and then all the other stuff. Even the part where we're pushing the, this is the MIA chip, right, uh, procedure, we're pushing kick ROM into, the, um, into RAM that works as well and all the other thing until the V release reset, but nothing happens. And the reason nothing happens is because I removed the clocking um, module completely because, and I'm just having a placeholder there, having the inputs and outputs without doing anything because I figured out the way it is right now, it just doesn't work. It will require re-engineering and, um, you know, replacing those old um, DCMs with the PLLs and also some routing across the uh, Minimig uh, will need to be improved um, because of the, um, just of the timing and, and it, it's a little bit messy. I think there is a lot to be desired in the Minimig code right now. So I'm going to try start cleaning that up as well. So that's, that's a progress. Um, I know it's not yet there. I don't have a Waterbridge screen up and running, hopefully a few more days, but I wanted to share this because really I spent entire freaking weekend uh, changing the uh, parameters, firmware, uh, debugging around the board. Um, it does seem like it's the same platform, it's Xilinx, it's Spartan, but difference between Spartan 3 and Spartan 6 as same as Spartan 3 and Spartan 7. In fact, I'm questioning my decision to go with Spartan 6. I, I could have done it with a 7 because then I can start moving everything to Vivaldo right away. But uh, who knows, maybe Spartan 7 has more gotchas and um, you know, at least um, development environment is familiar. So um, I guess at some point um, when there is a need, we can move to Spartan 7 and um, going through all these headaches, I think uh, will make it uh, easier in the future. So again, uh, subscribe if you can um, so you can be informed I will post the videos now more often and hopefully as I promised within a few days we'll have um, Minimig uh, running on this beautiful part talk to you soon bye bye